Hey guys, welcome to the show. So today is a bit different to normal. Um, basically, another channel, Chilling War Games, uh, presented a challenge about a month ago to paint a space marine in just three colours and black. So I decided to jump on and I thought I'd make a video showing what I did. The first thing I did actually was I took all the colours I own, put them in a random number generator and chose three. The three I got were Boreal Green, scale 75, Fall Green, scale 75, and Phalo Blue, Green Shade. So lots of green and blue. Obviously we like black and this Fall Green was my key paint because it's allowed to make, make some greys with the black and yeah not much tonal variation well more intro see how we did so here we go We've got a quick shot of the colors all mixed together we started with a blaze layer that was mostly the phalo blue with a little bit of fall green in a couple of layers in I then started to uh, apply some highlights. This was a lot of fall green with the blue. Um, and I just went around the model trying to figure out where I might want to have like a kind of non metallic effect. I didn't really get there in the end because um, I didn't have enough colors. But uh, you can see my, my thinking. I was trying to figure out the shapes because it's been a while since I painted a Space Marine, strangely enough. Um, I usually paint kind of fleshy models. Uh, <laughs> So this was quite an interesting challenge as there was no flesh. Um, so yeah, I was trying to figure out my edges and such like that. Obviously it looks a bit rough and dodgy at the moment. Um, but yeah, so have a watch, see if you can figure out what I was thinking. There we go. Now I, I went that and I was like, hmm, not 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 one hundred percent correct there. So I, I got a darker blue and started to build out kind of a mid tone layer to, to and bring it back in a bit because I wasn't wasn't happy with how it was looking. I could reset some of the the uh, light points. This is this is how I do a lot of models actually. I, I try and sit and figure out. Like I play with the color to try and figure out where my shadows will be, where my highlights want to be. And sometimes you just have to put paint on a model. Like I said, it's been a while since I painted a Space Marine. So I needed to get paint on the model to try and start learning the shapes again. Because it's been a while. Um, and this is a great way of doing it. So you put in your, your base colours, put some highlights in that start contrast, try and figure out where you are. Another way is um, obviously take a picture of it uh, or do a Xenophil Prime, something like that. So now I'm taking a slightly lighter and building my mid-tones in this is a kind of a very very heavy glaze um, not quite a layer so I'm still having to uh, move the paint around a bit to get it to the place I want but uh, this this was me starting to, to build out those colors a bit uh, this was this was an interesting challenge I'm, I'm not gonna lie it did it did push me a bit because <laughs> everything being on the kind of greeny spectrum I know the, the yellow was kind of a, a yellowy blue green thing. Yeah, yellowy green. Um, but it was still kind of green. Obviously, my blue had a bit of green in it as well. And then I had a green and a black. So um, I wasn't quite sure where I was going to get uh, my tonal differences because I, I like to put different colours into the shadows to help uh, build up the, those contrasts a bit. So normally I'd have probably put some magenta or something into the shadows of this sort of guy just for the, those differences and that visual interest. You can see here now I'm getting back up to my, my highlight colour. It's in a, a lot smaller area than it was before. And I think it's starting to make it's starting to make some sort of sense. Um, I would, I'd be interested in trying this, this sort of thing again but with the three primary colours 
or even like the three printer primary colors you know like by like a primary red yellow blue or the um, cyan magenta yellow just to see how how that goes that would be quite an interesting experiment because theoretically with a black and white you can make any color um yeah three three greens here we go i'm now starting a this was i didn't like how stark the transition was so i made a wash which was just a lot of water in one of the blues and put that over and uh, I still didn't like it so I did it again keep keep trying until you get what you want um, and it's I could have I could have spent hours glazing and then I did but um, I, I decided at this point it was somewhere near what I was after but it was time to block out the other colors so I could actually get a visual figure out what the visuals of the model that I wanted. Sometimes you have to put in the other colors, even if they're just base, so you can understand the model more. So you can see what the colors actually look like compared to everything else. Because you can, if you do just one color, you're kind of painting a vacuum. Um, and I thought from there, you know what? Let's get the normal metallics in. So what I've done here is just a full green with black and going slightly lighter and lighter. And I think actually, it makes quite an interesting non-metallic effect, even if I do say so myself. So, uh, oh, I don't even remember doing this shade. I obviously still wasn't happy. I know I'd, I'd painted this over two sessions, like two painting sessions, two evenings, and I couldn't remember what I did from the one evening to the next. So this is um, boreal green with fall green and a bit of the blue in to build out my lens colours. I was quite pleased with how, how much variation I managed to get from these three colours, even if they are on the same kind of side of the colour wheel. <laughs> Another watch, because you know, why not? All else fails, keep going. I think I was getting rather tired at this point. There we go, some quick, quick hedge highlights after the wash on it. Build up those lights. Nice, nice turquoise colour. And I, I'm very pleased actually with how the shoulder pads came out. Because um, I felt like they, they actually do give the metallic effect quite nicely, along with the eagle. Probably the, the, the greys are my, my favourite bit on this model actually. Um, the armour itself. I, I probably wouldn't do it again. <laughs> but, or I'd do it very differently. I'd probably crack out an airbrush actually if I was going to do this again. Well, that's uh, should have done that from the start really. But you know, you live, you learn. That's what this was about learning and playing. So now I'm trying to re establish some of the, the black lines to get my complete contrast back in. So I can see that again, helping to visualize the colors. Uh, and on models like this, obviously, they're so small that some, you have to put in your shadow tones and such yourself. Is uh, the light, natural lighting, isn't the same scale. So here we go. The, the, the quick and dirty base. Just dry brushing stuff over it. And carry on. Don't waste time. Just keep going. While waiting for things to dry. Probably could have spent a bit more time on the bolter. It's quite a big piece, but uh, hey, I think it looks it looks all right. I'm not sure I pulled out the skull or not. Again. I hope I did. Oh yeah, there I do. I do. I do pull it back out. Models, models that have visual visual range at the moment. Can't see it. I think this is the, the next day now. I decided to, to rim the base straight away. Probably could phrase that better. Here we go. This is this is me spending hours and hours and hours glazing. Well, I say hours and hours, it was about three hours just glazing colours. Yeah. This is this is sped up 
and time delayed recording quite a lot. So you can see I didn't move much. And my Discord didn't move much. <laughs> quite day. And that, that makes me realise I really need to get a better painting posture. There you go, you can see the colour difference now. This is where I was starting to get to the point I was happy. I've been watching this, this video hopefully right around the same sort of time as most of the others. Already seen uh, Mini Ocalypses, The Pickle Jar, and showing more games they've all done brilliant jobs and their videos were all fun and entertaining to watch hopefully i'm entertained to some degree and uh yeah well i'd like to thank chilling war games and everyone else who took part so cracking challenge you've put out spud and again thanks if you happen to like this or find it entertaining don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button see you again soon